hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing with you how we make our own sausages in the house the reason why i'm sharing this video is because it is one of the most eaten food in the house and we take time to make this because regular commercial sausages are loaded with chemicals nutrients and are loaded with chemicals and ingredients that are not too healthy for the body especially nitrites and nitrates that are capable of causing colon cancer i hope this video will help you and share i will share with you every step on how to make your own sausages or hot dogs in your house this is a labor of love so let us go so I start by washing my, I'm going to be making both chicken and beef sausages. So I am starting with my chicken, I've washed them up and I will also debone them and cut them into bits. And then also I'll also, this is my daughter trying to cut the beef. Now after cutting, I spice up my, my chicken. Your regular sausages are loaded with a lot of salt and other chemicals that I don't even know the name. But when you're making it in the house, you have control over your own ingredients. So these are my ingredients. I've listed them for you to see. You can feel free to use your own ingredients. Okay. Now this is me my nutrient, my ingredients. Putting my ingredients and mixing them all up. And when I mix them up, I will stir and incorporate them all very well. And then I will add my oil, my egg as a binder. My egg as a binder and of course my corn flour. Now when I mix this all up, I'm going to seal it up and keep it in the fridge to marinate for about 40 minutes, okay? Now I will go to my beef. I'll keep it in the fridge to marinate. And then this is, uh, we're, we're, we are almost done with our beef, so we will do the same marination, marinating, we do the same marinating for the beef. But because we are going to be blending this, we are going to try our best to cut them into bit sizes so that it blends well and also the nutrient, the ingredient also penetrates the beef very well and make it very sweet. So this is my beef and I will do the same process. I will do the same process as I did for the chicken. So instead of the bowl, I will be using my Ziploc bag and then I will add my ingredients that have been listed here. Okay, one other thing I would like you to know also is that if you don't want to use the corn flour, Feel free to use Cylon musk or arrowroot powder or flaxseed powder or you can also use tapioca powder but I only have my corn flour ready in the house and that is what I will be using. Okay, so now let us go to the mixing part just like the way we did for the beef, add our oyster sauce add our oil add our egg and then i'm just going to mix it mix it now by the time i mix everything all up i'm going to uh, marinate the fridge now my chicken is well so i'm just going to see how i blend it okay so i was trying to do this and i noticed that it was not blending well so i quickly shifted to my blender if you have a good blender you can use this so my beef is blended my chicken is blended and it's time for us to create our sausages okay now 
try to weigh them, make them equal sizes. But there's no rule that says it must be equal. Just do the one that will be edible. Okay. Now I will just make them the size that my children can relate with. They are they will soon be back from school. You see, they will fill up this kitchen now because they know I'm making sausages. It's one of the favorite foods they love in this house. So I'm going to just cut them all up and use a clean thing to um, to wrap it all up just like, like this. Just put it in and roll it, roll it, and then tie it up. So I'm done with my chicken, it's time for me to do for my beef. So I'll do the same style for the beef too. Okay, so we're done with our tying process. These are my chicken, and also I will also place the beef so that you see what we have been doing. Now I will be cooking these sausages both ways, two ways. I'll be cooking it two ways. I will boil some, and I will also be grilling some. I am doing that because I want to see which one is tastier. From my own um, research that I have done, I realized that the one that is sweeter is the one that you do that you grill in the oven. But so if you don't have oven, you can boil it just like the way I want to do now. So you just throw them inside the boiling water and it will boil. After all, you are still going to cook it again with your eggs, with your sauce, with your stew, and anything. Then I put some in the oven. These ones, I don't know how to describe it. They are so they are sweeter, and they taste, well, they are they are tastier. Daughter is here now, no hear what.
so they are done you can see them they are well cooked and we are ready to put them in our food uh, because I was doing this video I was rushing if not you just allow it to cool up very well before you bring them or cut the clean thing and bring them out okay if you cool it off it will not break it will remain the way it is but I was rushing the video so um, that's why I made it this way hope you understand so this is just it I I'll bring them out and then I will make quick a quick meal with one for you so we are done you can see you can see how beautiful they look when all has been placed okay my sausages they are all ready and good to go so let's just make quick eggs and sausages and show you how it looks in fact it came out better and it came out looking lovely and delicious more than what i expected it was really really nice i would want you to try it and when you try it there's no going back so do this on your eggs and enjoy juicy so we're ready we're almost done we're almost done we're almost done with our food is ready come and eat or oh, food is ready come and eat thank you so much for watching please if you love this content i'm sharing one of the support you can do for me is to subscribe is to like and to share this video and of course i will be very grateful thank you so much for your 
for the returning viewers i appreciate you all have a nice day and bye